Hello, traveler. How can I help you? fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillbeats has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the cavern. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp at Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. It's a little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? I know. Come again sometime. You put manly bandana. Another bunny girl. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowden! Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Doggos. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Oh, Alright, can't go upstairs. Don't want to walk the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels! They're efficiently laid out. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> that lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Well, she's an anthro bunny that has a bunny for a pet. Don't think about it too hard. Awful teens tormented the local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So I started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's the tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. Yay, I solved that problem. Yo, you're a kid too, right? Not technically, but at least in this game I am. I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Thanks. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hit, hit, hit hot guys! Hmm, 
Is that human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Watch where you sit down in here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> it makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. going to make out with a fish. Welcome to the Undertale fandom. Ilgun said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Ah. Okay. Ah, cool goat. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so if I've heard they're going to start moving here. always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, the lack of sunlight. <laughs> I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Hey, Rusty. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Oh, let's go to the library. Read a book. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Gosh, when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Hey, it's Mike Sully, his brother. report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at that page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. I'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. I start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. A meta. Because they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need those things to exist. We are monsters. We live Brarby. Skelebro's house. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Ah. Convenient. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. I've got quite a few. Um, my latest one, Mendacity by Dramika Suchus, is going to be finished releasing on this coming Friday. So, next Friday. 
Ooh, it's getting cold. This is where I get to count counter Terry uh. Crews. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. Don't ever wonder whatever having lots of... I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date later, after I capture you. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you. You flirt, but to no avail. It seems acting won't escalate this battle. You won't fight. Then uh, let's see if you can handle my favorite blue attack. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Papyrus is busy fighting to flirt back. Ooh. Fishy cream. Try holding the up button to jump. Papyrus, please! Alright, 46. Papyrus, head to the Royal Guard! Ooh. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Papyrus, 
Unspirulent Spaghettiori! Oh. Papyrus just was. Yeah! And Dad will be really proud of me! Papyrus is rattling his bones. The king will turn a hand to the shape of my smile! Papyrus whispers, yeah. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. Reapply the bandage. Kind of gooey. I'll have lots of admirers, but oh, Pyrus is preparing a bone attack. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Ah. Paris was for <laughs> Someone like you was really rare. Jeez. Oh, ah. Uh. Dating might be kind of hard. I ate a cinnamon bunny. Oh. After you're captured and sent away. Pirates is trying hard to play cool. Ah, who cares? Give up! Pirates is preparing a boat attack. Come on. Give up or face my special attack! This is bad. It smells like bones. Yeah! Hard to play cool. Hold my special attack! <gasps> the doggo! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop punching all that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Pyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Ah, here's an absolutely normal attack. Here, you can't uh, defeat me. Uh, I can see you shaking in your boots. 
Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy.